anyway, um, welcome back to the vlog. You do what I'm saying? It's been, I want to say, two or three weeks um, since the last clip that you guys just saw. Just because this is semi tunnel, not really a tunnel, but semi tunnel. You know, I had to get it in. But basically, these two parts right here, these two fittings. We were waiting for these two fittings to go ahead and finish the trunk setup. They finally came in. I finally got my new schedule and bitch ass niggas gonna cut me off like this nigga. Anyway, so I finally got my new schedule. My boy is finally, um, you know, free. Our schedules aligned perfectly today. Um, so I'm on my way to his house. We're about to finish the trunk setup. Also got a little, um, you guys are gonna get a little sneak peek for tomorrow's video because <laughs> we also got something else up our sleeve that I wasn't expecting to do today, but we talked it over and we should be able to get it knocked out at least started. And then overnight it's gonna dry and it should be good to go for install tomorrow. So with that being said, give me a couple of seconds, which will be for y'all, but it's like 20 to 30 minutes for me um, I'm about to head to his house and once I get there, I'll click on the camera and we'll get straight into this video. So let's get it. What is good y'all, you dig? Welcome back to yet again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video, you dig? So y'all remember, literally earlier in this video, there was a motor and a trans all in this car. They're now over here. You want to tell them, you want, like... I got you. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> we got the motor back out because I had to weld in the transmission tunnel. Mm -hmm. uh, put some reinforcement plates for the frame rails. Uh, probably not the prettiest welds, but it'll be structurally safe enough for for where this is headed. Uh, motor's back out, I'm about to put the flywheel back on. Uh, I never put it on, I was just test fitting at the time. Yeah. Got the clutch and pressure plate needs to go on. Um, after that, I mean, there's really not much left on this on this build. Like, 
I want to paint the engine bay just so, um, I mean, the motor's out, that's the best time to paint it. I don't yeah. see why not. And then run fuel lines, run wires, and at least start it. See uh, see if it sounds good, at least. I mean, yes. is that what it's about? Yes, sir. So, y'all heard him. You feel me? The car should be started sometime in the near future and you already know your boy ji is going to be there to grab that content so y'all stay tuned but um we got mamba all backed up um we're test fitting the fittings just to make sure they fit so the first one on that goes to the compressor looks like we are in the clear it did fit on there in fact and then the second one goes into the tank so we're about to make sure that we're straight on that end as well Wait, isn't it this port? Or, oh, I'm tripping. I'm big tripping. See, this is why he's the bad guy, and I'm just the guy who drives the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, looks like we're straight as far as the fittings go. I'm super hyped on that. We're going to be able to go ahead and finish mounting the compressor onto the trunk door and making sure the airline fits. Hey, and we're, we're straight <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, sir the airline fits everything we're good we're all good so now we're gonna get the compressor mounted on top of the trunk and then we got you want to you want to tell them what we're what we're because I, I kept it i kept it a secret on the way over here oh yeah you want to talk to them what we're doing on the yeah so i mean we got we got two options we can either uh mount the compressor up here mm -hmm. but we'll see how that'll fit depending on where it lands like in the truck space mm -hmm. or we can mount it back here and that's the, another option on that wall back there It'll actually reach and we can, we can definitely do it back there yeah so, so i mean we got options we got options and then we need to fix the the tank so it's not wobbling in as much mm -hmm. i was gonna add a spacer behind that that little bar yeah so that it like spaces so that flex doesn't yeah, happen so that flex doesn't happen yeah so basically, um, you guys don't know what we're talking about. I kept, I didn't really put this in the video or but anything. We'll, we'll explain it throughout yeah. the video. Like once we pull off the like trunk mat and everything, yeah. you'll see. What exactly. We're talking about. And then this joint right here, this big regular degler. I don't like carpet. All right. I'm not. I'm not a carpet guy. So if y'all stay tuned, we definitely have something that uh that will get rid of this. This is like big 1985 type. We don't like carpet over here, so y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, so we finally got the compressor mounted, right? We got to fix this We got to um, fix this line later on. However, so all we did is just take off this grime right here. My boy cut it, you know what I'm saying? And my boy pulled up big what bags in the milk. Look, look, <laughs> a little extra help. No um, cap. So we cut it with that joint down there. Well, I ain't cut shit. He did. You feel me? And then we just took the airline itself, the the line from the compressor, and ran it through this factory hole that's right there. And we're just going to take this right here, make it clean a little bit, and put it back where it goes, and just feed that through there. And then put the line in. And we're straight. So let's get it. What the fuck? So... After bending my back a little bit, and my brother's working on it, we finally got that fitting to just run straight through. So, really and truly, we're straight. Just gonna cut this airline a little bit. Running right in through there, man. Shit! All right, y'all, so obviously you can hear the car running right now. We got the car running. We got the airline ran right here. And then we got the water trap line ran through this garment. Grommet comes straight through there right there. And then the water trap is ran right there. The line is tucked behind this like carpeting. And it's just so clean. OEM plus. OEM plus. Now we're about to tighten down the tank, make sure it stays. We're just running the car right now to let the tank fill up, make sure there's no leaks. Everything is good and kosher. Like look at that. OEM fucking plus. Oh my goodness. Make sure my tank is filling up. All right, y'all, so basically there's a wasp in my car right now. I'm allergic to them joints. I don't know if it's still in my car, out my car. Oh, look, it's right there. Well, that's one of them, you feel me? I don't know. Right Where, bro? Right there. 
the life. Oh, yeah, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight. I don't got no. Look, it's one on top of the garage door, bro. He crawling right now. Bro, I don't have an EpiPen on me right now. If I get stung, like, y'all got to call 911. Like, my throat going to close. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> like bro what the hell damn okay we're gonna finish the trunk now <laughs> i think yes sir <laughs> that shit it's, it's like the attention to little details bro y'all gotta understand and it's just a test fit should be straight. I was hearing like a little bit of a flexing whenever it hit a bump. Just gonna get some rubber right there. Just knock it in there so it doesn't move. It will be straight, man. Sheesh. Yes, sir. Regular shit. This is gonna be the example of Camaro bag build, bro. No cap, no cap. So we gotta run to the store real quick. I'm taking this hole. Three dudes in this joint. We'll see how this works out. All right, y'all, made it to Home Depot. I'm gonna run in there real quick, grab the little things that we need. I'm not really gonna be able to show y'all too much because it's gonna be a part two to this video. So, uh, give me one second, man. We're gonna hop right in there. So, this just happened. Can we do this? Legit, I was just holding my tripod and the legs just fell off of it. So, there's that. <laughs> well, we're getting. So, this is the wood that we decided to get. That joint's gonna be fire. That's the only like sneak peek y'all get to see. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I think I might I might make this clip black and white. I definitely I think I'm gonna make that clip black and white. But yeah, bro, that's the only sneak peek y'all get to spoil in the trunk of the car, man. <laughs> I'll stay tuned. Hell no. I'll do this for the trunk. So my car has is recalibrated right now. Then look inside. That's the compressor. And so the lines that ran through that, the little grommets, they, these grommets were already there from Chevy. So we ran them through there. Oh, I didn't see that part. I thought she was just, I thought it was just this. Yeah, uh, simple and clean. So then, you know, you got it I, in space in your trunk like me, but it's all decent space. Whatever. And then, you know, they, they haven't seen. I showed them, but I put it in black and white with that stuff going through the whole floor. And it's going to be like a white light so you can actually see it. And I want to get the latch that you got. So, like, whenever you hit the button, just, you I'm know, to be like me. whatever, dude. So it'll pop open while I air out, and then I'm gonna paint this black. And I'm gonna put J.I. Productions in white cursive. Yeah. I like slanted words. Yeah, like, but in cursive though. Yeah, and it's gonna say subscribe in lights right there. <laughs> I'm for real. 
So yeah, black, black, red, and white. No, it's gonna say subscribe and lights right here. Lights, okay. And then this is gonna be black and the white writing. How are you gonna put that here? It's gonna be like little LED bulbs that just spell out subscribe. <laughs> what? I know where to that. Exactly. You hear? You heard it here first. But yeah, man. That's gonna be it for this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. You turn on those post notifications. My girl likes it. <laughs> I like it. I just gave y'all a little couple giblets of what's coming next. Y'all stay tuned. I'm telling you, this trunk setup is about to be ridiculous. And uh, yeah, man. Y'all enjoyed that little edit that I made. I don't know if I put it in yet, but I'm about to go to the park, so I'm gonna make an edit there of the trunk setup. Yeah, it was. This goes is so perfect. But yeah, man, that's gonna be it for this one. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.